Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wanda Baker, Independent Sensi Consultant. Um, today I'm excited. I've got um, kind of a combined video that I'm going to do. I got the second box from my warehouse slash uh, flash sale. So I went in twice in that sale. I got my big, my big box first. I got my little one second. Um, this was pretty close to the 21 days that um, they tell us to allow them to get their orders out. And then I think the other box that I have is a party closeout. It's kind of a heavy box. I think there's a lot of wax in there, but I know if it's my party closeout, if there's a warmer in there. So um, I'm gonna start with my second flash sale box here. Um, I know this is just all wax. I think what I did was I kind of had some FOMO and I, I went back in and I got one of the bundles that I hadn't previously ordered. Mmm, this smells like fall. This, I don't recall the name of the bundle, but it was um, a bunch of fall scents. So I, I got one bundle and then one oddball, um, just one oddball bar. And that would probably be this one, Spring Forward. I don't know why I ordered this because I think I actually ordered this in another flash sale and I still haven't used it. This doesn't smell like much of anything, to be honest. It's, well, on the bottom it does. On the top, it's very, 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 very light. On the bottom, it smells like fresh cut grass, which is really weird because it's pink wax. So uh, that was my, my one-off spring forward. And then the rest of these are going to be the bundle that I got. And forgive me, I don't remember the name of the bundle. Uh, one of these has a Bring Back My Bar um, sticker on it. So this was Autumn Stroll. Mmm, that smells really good. I don't think I've ever had Autumn Stroll before. And I am not sure what is so strong in here, but oh my gosh, I can, just this whole thing just smells like fall time. Something in here is a very, very strong scent and I don't know which one it is, but hopefully we figure it out here. So this was a, a 10 bar bundle. And I wanna say it's like fall harvest or something like that. So um, let's start off with this one. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear my glasses with the ring light on. Um, harvest Blessings was one of the bars. I don't know that I've ever had Harvest Blessings. This is very, very strong on the bottom. I am going to enjoy, I love pumpkin. So I know that I'm gonna enjoy warming all of these. This doesn't smell like the super strong scent though that I smelled right when I opened the bag. This is lovely though. Um, Harvest Blessings. Uh, we already did Autumn Stroll. This has a Bring Back My Bar sticker on it, so this must have been a Bring Back My Bar at some point. They must be trying to get rid of these bars. This has a really, really spicy note in it. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very spicy. I don't know that it's necessarily cinnamon, but it's very, on the bottom, it's very, very spicy and almost takes my breath away. Um, vanilla, cinnamon, maple. Wow, all of these are really strong on the bottom, but not so much on the top. I don't, I don't understand that. Vanilla, cinnamon, maple. That smells like a good one. Um, it's been kind of rainy and dreary here in the Midwest, so I might just pick one of these and change out my wax today. I was trying to get through some of my, bring back my bars that I had ordered, that I had put in my club, so I could try them and then decide if I wanted to keep them in my club or not. Um, honey Pear Cider. 
this one's okay. It smells kind of funky. I'm not really sure about that one. I, I'll try it, but I don't know about that one. Coconut pumpkin pie. This one sounds really amazing. This might be what I was smelling out of the bag. Or not. This just smells like, smells kind of plasticky on the bottom. I do smell a lot of the coconut though. And I love coconut, I love pumpkin. Hopefully this one, it smells really, really good on the top. It smells kind of, I don't think that these sat outside and had a chance to melt or anything. I mean, they're all, all the bars seem to be in pretty good shape, so I don't know why it would smell like that unless it's just been in the clam for so long. Um, pumpkin marshmallow. This one just smells like straight up pumpkin. And it's almost buttery. This is weird, very funky. And I think I was listening to Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and this might be the one that she said had some funk on it too. Like, that's just, it smells like the guts of a pumpkin. That's what it smells like to me. And then maybe marshmallow on top. There's just something. I don't know about that one. This may be a gift for somebody, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know if I want to try that one. It smells funky. Um, sweet cream spice. Mmm. Yes, I will enjoy warming this one. This one smells really, really nice. This. Well, let me get through the last three and I can tell you which one was probably the one that was smelling up the bag. So sweet cream, sweet cream spice, tongue twister. That is about the only one that's not orange in this uh, stack here. Porch pumpkin, and I've heard a lot of good things about this. I don't know if it's supposed to be spicy or just straight up pumpkin. There's maybe a little spice in it. Not a whole lot though. Not overpowering spice, just a little. This I'm guessing is gonna be a light scent. It doesn't smell very strong on cold. So let's see, warm pumpkin drizzle. I thought this was a scent of the month last year. This, this also has a weird note in it. This might've been one of the bars that I tried to warm that my husband hated and I just gave up on it. Um, he hates gimme candy. He hates toffee butter crunch, anything. And I'm wondering if it's just bakery that he doesn't like. And I am not a huge bakery fan, but I love, love, super love gimme candy. I'm so excited that it made the catalog this year. And um, I think that I have some still from my scent of the month kit last year, my scent and warmer scent and warmer of the month kit, because I did get both. I do remember I had a customer who wanted the warmer. So I went ahead and got the warmer and I gave her a bar. But when I tried it at home, my husband was not having it. He shut the warmer off and I was so disgusted with him because I love that scent. And every time I turn around, he turned off my warmer. And it was one of the only super, super strong scents that I can remember from last year. And that one, I could smell it outside. Like I could walk up to my house, I could smell it. And you could smell it upstairs. We have a two-story house. Um, it's not necessarily open layout or anything. The kitchen is kind of closed off from the dining room and the, the living room is open concept, but like, 
it, it wafted all the way upstairs. I could smell it like when I left and I came home, I could smell it outside the door. There's only one other time that I had a scent that smelled that strong, I think. And I don't remember if it was either Glacier Water or Hey Tiger Lily. It was one of those two, but I could literally smell it outside my house with the door shut. Those are the kind of scents that I like. So this one is Perfect Pumpkin Pear. You know, and I kind of like this. I'm not a huge pear fan and pear and pumpkin matched together doesn't really sound very palatable, but this smells really nice. It almost, it almost reminds me of Rustic Lodge. It has, it seems like there might be a note that's the same. I don't know what that note would be, but I actually, I kind of like that. But I think that Warm Pumpkin Drizzle, I think that's the one that is uh, making the whole, I think that's what I smelled when I opened the bag. So there's that small haul, um, that one bundle, and then my one oddball bar, Spring Forward, and then we had Coconut Pumpkin Pie, Honey Pear Cider, not sure about that one, Vanilla Cinnamon Maple, this may be one that I had last year, I can't remember, um, Autumn Stroll, Harvest Blessings, That smells really good. I will enjoy warming that. Um, porch pumpkin, sweet cream spice, pumpkin marshmallow, probably gonna gift that to somebody and let it be someone else's headache. Warm pumpkin drizzle and perfect pear, uh, perfect pumpkin pear. If I could talk right. Okay, so I'm gonna set these to the side and then I'm going to get into what I think is my party haul. So, oh, there are two warmers in here. Okay, now I remember what I did, okay. So I'm gonna do the wax first. This is not heavy because of the wax, it's heavy because of my warmers. So I probably did a six bar bundle. I probably did that for um, product credit, I'm guessing, because I had to use two credits for one of these warmers. So I've got Tangerine and sugar cane. I think I ordered some of this, but I had not tried it yet. Um, yes, these two. So this is part of our, was it the summer collection? So t tangerine and sugar cane and then ocean air and coconut water. I didn't get the dragon fruit one. I, I, I have that bar, but I have not tried it yet, but I just didn't really, it seemed familiar, like something I had warmed before, but Sensi maybe just named it something else. Sometimes I come across scents like that where I swear I've smelled it before, but it just has a different name. It, and I don't know if they, if they just rename things and use the same wax or what, but now, I heard a lot of good things about this. I have not tried it yet. So I think I'm gonna leave these two out and I think I'm gonna warm these over the next couple of days or at least try them out. Um, baked apple pie, like I said, I am not a huge bakery person, but I figured I needed to try some of these. This smells really good. Um, I don't like necessarily smelling things that seem like they would taste good because I swear to God, I can smell something that smells good and gain 10 pounds and not, it's a problem. 
So I don't normally go for bakery. There's not many bakery scents that I'm really fond of to begin with. But um, I, I mainly like florals, fresh, laundry. Um, those are my favorites. Um, I also got cinnamon vanilla. I don't know why I picked cinnamon vanilla. I really don't. This smells okay. I'm sure it's somebody's favorite, but it's not gonna be my favorite. I got two mocha doodle. I have a customer who um, asked me a while back if I had any mocha doodle on hand. I did not. So I thought I will go ahead and grab a couple and then that way I can have at least a couple on hand. So if she wants one, then I can, I can have one on hand for her. But I did get two of these and I might try this. Um, anyway, so tangerine and sugarcane, ocean air and coconut water, two mocha doodle, cinnamon vanilla, baked apple pie. I don't know, maybe my husband would like this. I, I know he doesn't like gimme candy, but this doesn't smell too bad in this. There's a lot of spice in this, I will say. Maybe he would like to come home and smell something that smells like apple pie, but then he might be disappointed that I'm not actually baking an apple pie. So, I mean, that's kind of a double-edged sword. If it smells like something good baking and you walk in the door and you expect to find something baking and it's just scentsy, then that's another kind of scentsy heartbreak, I would say. So set these off to the side. Okay, so I fell in love with the warmer of the month last month, the Prismatic. So I'm pretty sure that I used my uh, Perpetual Party Rewards to get this one. I just, I saw this warmer and I fell in love. I, I really wanted to get along the ocean floor as well. That was the warmer of the month for June. But I just, I just didn't... Um, I had just bought the Lilo and Stitch warmer that just came out, which I should have went with the, the Disney 100 celebration because that one sold out right away. So I'm gonna take this out just to show you. And then I'm gonna pack it back up. This seems like, I mean, I know it says four cubes, but this seems like a really big dish. But I've, I've always loved the color purple. And I don't know, this box is a lot smaller than the other box that's in my box. So I don't know, maybe this is just a small warmer. Oh, this is so pretty. Here is the prismatic. Oh, and there is a light bulb in there, okay. And thankfully it's not broken. I think this is a 25 watt warmer. I'm not gonna light it up or anything. I just, I think this might go in my bedroom. I have seen pictures of this all lit up and it's just gorgeous. I just had to have this one. So I'm gonna put this back the way it was. Scentsy's just really been hitting it out of the park with some of these warmers. This, the warmers of the month, the scents of the month, I really love Tahitian Twilight, and I love that the wax matched the color scheme of the warmer. I really love that. Um, some of them have been pretty light, but they've been really, really good scents. Like I liked, uh, was it Pacific Mist? That was another good one. This is not fitting back in there the right way. There's one wonky corner. Of course there has to be a wonky corner. There we go. Maybe that will work better. Perfect. Put all my instructions 
instructions and good stuff back in there. I Everybody knows how to use these warmers, but in case somebody else should have this warmer someday, I'm sure they'll want the instructions and the, the guarantee and all that good stuff. So we had a promotion where you could earn a warmer through parties, but you had to use, when I say earn, I mean you still have to pay for it, unfortunately, but you had to use two half price, um, two half price uh, not product credits, but two half prices on your parties. And I was hoping and crossing my fingers that I would get to four, I did not. I had a really, really hard time choosing which warmer I wanted to get because you could get Shine Like a Diamond or Pink Topaz. And I went with Pink Topaz just because I love, love, love the color pink. I wish that there were, would have been some better pictures of the the diamond warmer because i may have chosen that one but i in the end i went with the pink topaz i thought it kind of fit my personality better so this is the one that i got i i think i made the right decision because i absolutely love this color like i said i was hoping that i could have earned enough half prices that i could have gotten both but i didn't so i went with the pink topaz not sure what I'm going to do with this warmer yet, but eventually I'll switch out warmers and I'll use it. But this is the pink topaz. The only drawback is I am not really a fan of the configuration of this warmer. I have one that's like this and I can't remember what it's called. Um, I've never taken it out of the box, but it's one like this with the funky geometric dish. And this also says four, but I, I do like this. I just wish it was configured a little bit differently. And it almost looks like, nope, I don't think this is the new kind of warmer where you can take the bottom out. I don't think this is it and I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to force it. But this is the pink topaz, and I'm really excited that I earned this because they extended the special for another month, whereas the first month, I wasn't able to earn enough half price credits to get it. So they actually had extended that special for consultants for another month, and that's how I was actually able to get this. So I am super excited. Um, I have only been selling since 2021. I really don't have a lot of customers yet, so it was exciting for me. I'm I'm excited that I got it and hopefully maybe the Shine Bright Like a Diamond uh, warmer, warmer will become available just to regular, maybe it'll, maybe they'll have another promotion like this to where you can you can earn it like this last one that we had. So we'll see. But in the meantime, I got this one. I'm happy with it. And I don't think I got that exactly back in the box the way that it was supposed to go. It's a little, but, um, and I forgot to put the papers back in. But hopefully they'll have another promotion like that because it's really fun to try and meet a goal like that. Even if you don't, I mean, it is disappointing, but I mean, I was able to get this one. I'm happy for that. I wish I could have gotten both. I would have, I would have totally paid half price for both of them. But um, this one's good enough. I imagine some people probably earn both and congratulations to them. But if there's um, anything that you need today, our uh, friends collection dropped at noon. As far as I know, the warmers are still available. If you are a huge fan of Friends, like a lot of the people that I know are, um, I had a couple pre-orders. I got in right at noon. I had to wait in the queue. I, I waited about 10 minutes and it let me in to order. I ordered the two that I had pre-orders for and then I ordered a bar bundle since at least one person wanted a bundle and then I wanna try it. So um, if you 
need anything Scentsy, just know that everything in our catalog is 10% off this month since this is our transition month. As of September 1st, there's a lot of things that are going away in the catalog and then our spring summer scents will be retired. I, there might be some like jammy time that are carrying over. Um, I think clothesline probably stays. Things, uh, black raspberry vanilla is probably still gonna be there, but we're switching over from spring and summer to fall and winter. So if there's anything you need, be sure to check out my website, which is wmbaker.sensi.us. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.